Hello, everybody. I'm Chris Hearn, the founder and CEO of Fountainhead. And uh, we decided to do a pre recorded video for you today because we had some major tech issues yesterday, as did a lot of companies. So I'm recording this. Uh, happy April Fool's Day, although I don't think anybody's in the mood for pranks right now. And uh, if, it, if yesterday had been April Fool's, uh, we would have thought uh, that we were somebody was playing a joke on us. So um, it is now uh, 1 11 Eastern's time on uh, Wednesday, April 1st. I just want you to know that because what I'm going to talk to you about in this video is probably going to be stale by this evening or maybe tomorrow even. So I just want to cover a few things, uh, sort of do the webinar that we had hoped to do a couple times yesterday uh, before we got hacked, uh, as did a lot of people on the live storm and Zoom platforms. Um, I want to for uh, some of the terrible remarks that were left on there. Um, you know, we clearly, in an effort to try and educate folks about these new Paycheck Protection Program loans, uh, we, we put a link on social media that somehow got others from outside into our little world here. And, um, you know, they were hackers and they, uh, they, they wreaked some chaos there and some havoc. And uh, we want to apologize for everybody for that. So, but we've shaken it off. Uh, we don't have time, frankly, to, uh, to wallow in that. So we're moving on and uh, we've come up with a new way to do it. And uh, as somebody perfectly put it yesterday to uh, sort of make it like um, a very popular meme, uh, it was almost as if Livestorm, uh, we had issues. And then we said, we're going to go to Zoom and Zoom said, hold my beer and, and see, uh, and, and they made it that much worse. So, um, Anyway, we are mostly concerned with your safety and your health. We want to make sure that you are doing well. We hope you are. Uh, we want you to know that we're doing well. Uh, more than half of our team here at Fountainhead is working remotely um, quite well. And uh, everybody else that's here is uh, in, our, in our headquarters here in Lake Mary, Florida, northeast side of Orlando. Um, we are in a county that is uh, shut down, uh, sheltered in place. But uh, we are an essential business uh, by virtue of us being a financial service provider and also specifically um, by virtue of us probably going to be one of the leading participating lenders in the new SBA 7A uh, Paycheck Protection Program. So um, really critical uh, what we hope to be doing in the days and weeks and months ahead. And um, we, are, we are deeply honored uh, for the opportunity and we take this responsibility very seriously and we want to try and help save as many businesses and as many jobs as we can and do our part to help stabilize the economy. So um, if you've been following us for a while, you know, I've put out a lot of information about all these things. Um, it is rapidly evolving. It's a very fluid situation. So anything I said two weeks ago, very well, may be stale by today. And anything I say on this webinar, well, this pre-recorded webinar will probably be stale by this time tomorrow. So for that, I apologize. Uh, it's as chaotic as you can imagine. We are, uh, we are deluged with calls and emails and texts and everything in between. Um, we're doing as many media interviews as we can. We've probably had two dozen plus uh, media interviews with a lot of national publications. We'll have that on our website. If it's not already there, you can go visit and read some of that information. Um, we do it because we want to try and educate people and we want to try and uh, do our part of, of, of quelling the chaos a little bit and, um, you know, really making sure people understand what the government is trying to do here and, and how they're trying to use uh, lenders like myself who normally specialize in this in, in normal times to really be on, on the front lines of the distribution channel of the funds to help stabilize the businesses and uh, the workers. So, so that's where we're at. And um, by the way, please be patient with us. Um, we are, I, I give you my word, we are trying to get to every call, every email that we possibly can um, we would ask that you try to send us emails, try to visit the website. That's a, a lot more efficient than calling in. Um, try to keep things simple and ask us their questions all in one email so we can respond efficiently. When we get multiple emails from the same person asking one question per email, you can imagine how even something as simple as that, which in normal times is perfectly fine, but in times like these, that slows down our efficiency. And uh, that, could, that could mean, um, you know, saving jobs or not in some of these situations. So we, um, you will be notified immediately when we receive the upcoming SBA final regs and rules, okay? Um, especially if you're already in our loan queue, you will absolutely be the very first to get this information from us. Um, there is a lot of confusion out there. Uh, there's a lot of information out there about these things. 
um, we are only going to be participating in the Paycheck Protection Program loans, the 7A relief loans. Okay, we do not do the EIDL loans. That's the Economic Injury Disaster Loans. Those are administered directly from SBA. Those are direct disaster loans made by SBA. And um, I know some of you have probably already jumped in that queue. Um, I apologize. I know it's, it can be a very frustrating process. Um, but they are a bit overwhelmed at the moment. I still have maintained for the last two weeks, I think SBA eventually may, uh, and this is just me speculating, but I, I could see them bringing in private sector lenders to help to work through, um, you know, the serious backlog that they've got on those EIDL loans. But on the other pathway, the 7A PPP loans, that's what we will be doing. Uh, just a little background on us. If you don't know, we are one of 14 uh, approved direct national SBA participating lenders. We're what's called an SBLC, a small business lending company. So this is what we do for a living in normal times. Uh, obviously, these aren't normal times. So we've mobilized our entire company. We've redirected it. We focused on making sure that we are a positive solution here to help stabilize the economy and making these loans for business owners. Okay. So um, there's 14 of us. Seven of which are for profit, uh, the rest are non for profit, and one's actually uh, going out of business right now or being sold. Um, there is about 17 to 1800 participating SBA lenders in the country out of 11,000 financial institutions that can make an SBA loan. Uh, only those 17 to 1800 of us have actually made an SBA loan in the last 12 months. That's both a good situation, good thing, and a bad thing, depending on your perspective. Uh, it doesn't feel like a lot, it's only about 14%. Uh, however, I imagine there will be some lenders that come on board and try to offer these PPP loans, especially to their own existing portfolio clients. Um, but we're also hearing from a lot of banks and credit unions who would just like to simply process uh, these loans through us. And we welcome those calls. Uh, well, not so much calls. We welcome those emails. And um, we'll, we'll be happy to, uh, to work with you if, if you happen to be uh, a direct lender, a bank or a credit union or another non-bank lender who would like us to participate. Uh, and, and make these loans for you. Uh, we will have a, a very efficient process. These, uh, these are gonna be done very quickly. Um, there is quite a bit of stripping back of what happens under normal circumstances with an SBA 7A loan in terms of the underwriting. Uh, there's effectively not much underwriting here. It's mostly processing. It's going to be a lot of verification on our side of very specific things, mostly related to uh, verifying your payroll, okay? Uh, because that is the critical factor that goes into the maximum loan amount. It's the payroll amount times two and a half. And it's, there's, some, there's some nuances to this. So I would urge you after this uh, after this video, go to our website. We actually have a, a web page set up, fountainheadcc.com backslash PPP. Go there, and that has the latest, greatest information on what everyone knows about this program. So um, let's talk about a couple things real quick because we learned a lot uh, yesterday afternoon. There was a data dump of information from Treasury. Uh, we expect there'll be more tomorrow or maybe even today. Um, these loans are now going to uh, be fixed at 0.5% interest rates. So instead of a maximum of 4%, it's going to be 0.5%, uh, 50 basis points, which is a remarkable situation, remarkable development for, uh, for borrowers. Um, if uh, they also have given us guidance that they, these will be two-year maturities, which is uh, somewhat in conflict with what's in the law, which was a 10-year maturity. Um, but understand the, uh, the sort of the point of these loans is to uh, hopefully be, most of them will be forgiven when the proceeds are used in the allowable way. And the proceeds will actually be used for payroll, okay, plus your facility expense and your utilities. So when I say facility expense, I mean rent or the interest on your commercial mortgage. So that is, that are, those are the incentives. If you use it that way appropriately, then you can expect uh, most of, if not all of your loan to be forgiven, and it'll cover an eight week period uh, for your payroll in this regard, an eight week period for those expenses. Okay. But there's some confusion out there because early iterations of the bill, of course, had other provisions in there and, and weren't as specific. And it's just, there's a lot of information out there. This is what happens when you take what is the largest uh, piece of legislation ever, and it gets approved in nine days. Okay. And there's a, there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen. Um, including us, we were trying to help provide some guidance uh, to the Senate Small Business Committee to make sure that uh, we could help 
as many people as possible with this. So um, knowing that and knowing that, you know, you probably if you know me pretty well, you know, my voice is a little shot right now. I apologize for that. But um, we have been working very, very hard on this for uh, close to three weeks now. Uh, most of my staff has put in 12 to 15 hour days. Um, some days I'm even more than that. And, um, you know, this is this is what our uh, obsession is right now is to try and, and try to make sure this program launches correctly. And uh, we're concerned about a few things about it and we're working on it behind the scenes, I can assure you. Um, but I just want you to have the latest information. Uh, there was also some guidance um, yesterday afternoon. If you are now what's called a loan agent, which would be any of our referral partners and actually ex expanding even uh, broader than that to attorneys, accountants, loan consultants, et cetera, brokers. Um, they are, we gave got guidance exactly what we can pay you. Um, there's a sliding scale based on the loan size, of course, and um, we will have a, a way for you to, um, a, basically a partner link for you to track the deals that you submit to us. Um, now, understand there's not a lot of value add for a, a loan agent on these loans, okay? And in normal times, there is a lot of documentation that's required for us to gather and analyze to make an SBA loan. Okay. And it's not, it is more than a conventional loan in ordinary times, but not a whole lot more, but there's extensive underwriting that goes into things, extensive verification to make sure that we're being prudent lenders. Okay. Right now we're balancing off being prudent lenders with being responsible, um, you know, advocates of our, uh, of our, frankly, our way of life, making sure that our economy uh, is stable as best as possible. So um, there is a lot of things that are removed. Um, there is effectively no underwriting uh, right now for these loans. And yet there will be some verification processes because we still need to try and make sure that we prevent fraud. And we're going to work very, very hard with SBA to make sure we do that. Um, there will be some documents that we need to upload uh, to SBA, we presume. There will be some closing documents, we presume. We don't know what those are going to be right now, um, but we will know more in the hours and days ahead. The bottom line is uh, the, the federal government, Congress, this administration is making the assumption that all business owners have been hurt by the economic fallout from the coronavirus health crisis. And so um, if you need help, which most of you do, then I would urge you to visit our website, fountainheadcc.com backslash PPP. And you can read up all about it, all the differences between a PPP loan, what it's going to look like, how it's supposed to be used versus an EIDL loan, which are the direct loans made directly from SBA. The PPP loans is really, think of that as more of a public-private partnership between private sector lenders like myself and SBA and Treasury. Okay, so... That's a quick update. Uh, these are the kinds of things I was going to tell you about yesterday. Uh, again, I apologize for the technical difficulties and for uh, some of the hackers that got on there and did what they did. Uh, as I may have said, FBI is even involved at this point with a lot of folks that, uh, that got hacked yesterday. But um, the best thing you can do right now is go to our website, review what's on there. We have a, a frequently asked questions that are on there. Uh, we can, we're answering them to the best of our abilities. We would, uh, we've made some recommendations for the kinds of information that we believe we're going to need for these loans, and we would suggest that you start getting organized and assembling the information so that you can quickly send it in to us and, uh, and make it as simple, as, process, as simple of a submission process as it can be for us because we want to try to you know, reduce the friction uh, that would otherwise be there on a lot of this. So um, I will tell you that if you don't follow instructions, uh, don't give us everything we need, you'll be kicked out into a reject pile and you'll be gotten to as soon as we can. Um, we want to handle all the submissions that are complete right away. And again, I'm saying this several days before uh, what we anticipate is going to be the day that SBA releases the final regs, which is this Friday. So um, we don't really know what that is yet. So hang in there. Um, get ready, get your information that we're suggesting that you may need, get it ready. Don't send us any uh, extra stuff, okay? Just stick to what's on the list and get us the information when you can. And then hang tight. You will get a confirmation email from us with a date and timestamp that we have received your information. 
a lot of times these have been going into people's spam filters. So we would please ask that you check your spam filter before you email or call over here and ask us to look it up. And no, I can't give anybody a number of what place you are in the queue. I apologize. Um, I think it's uh, more appropriate for us to keep that for internal discussion only. Um, man, there is a queue, okay, as some of you probably are already part of right now. And uh, we appreciate you being organized and you being sort of an early adopter and jumping in the queue and holding your line. We are going to take people down in a fair and orderly process as we go through this. So, um, and we will have people working around the clock 24 seven to help us to process these loans while we also stay in compliance with all the guidelines we have to be uh, as an SBA regulated lender. Okay. Um, I oftentimes get questions about, well, you know, you guys are uh, sort of the leading face of this program and you're doing all this media and you're doing all this information and it's great and we appreciate it, but your queue keeps growing. And yes, that is true. And I don't want to discourage anyone from, from joining in. Um, all I can say is uh, no one's going to work harder for you to get these loans out than we will. And uh, we have a massive mobilized effort here to try and help as many people as we can. And uh, I just don't want that to be something that hinders your willingness to do this. And if you uh, talk to, if you want to work with another lender, obviously that's your prerogative. Um, I would just ask that you ask a few things before you do that. Um, chances are they're not going to process loans faster than us. And speed is probably the most critical thing here in terms of getting the funds out to you, the business owner, as quickly as you can. The second big thing is going to be specialization is actually knowing what they're doing. Again, I would argue we, uh, we know what we're doing probably just about more than anyone or as much as we can, as anyone can know. Um, there are plenty of banks and credit unions right now that are still reeling from what's happened over the last three weeks and dealing with uh, portfolio companies um, who, you know, they're, they're processing deferments left and right and wondering if businesses are still going to be around when all this is done. And so it, it's a very stressful time in the financial services industry and just be mindful of that please um if your lender says go work with somebody else you know give us give us a, a send us an email and we'll process it um it's okay all right we're, we're not attempting to get into other banking services services products uh, we we like our three that we specialize in in normal times 504 conventional and 7a and uh, this is just a remarkable time that we're living through. And that's why we're, uh, we can be such a, a big help uh, in the recovery efforts. That's why we're doing the PPP loans. So um, it, will, it will pass. We'll get through this. Uh, I hope uh, you stay safe and healthy and those around you that you know stay self, safe and healthy. Um, you know, uh, send your good positive energy to us and your, and your prayers and your well wishes. We appreciate it. Uh, we have a lot to do over the next few months. And uh, we hope we can help you. And if you're a, a loan agent, we hope we can help your clients. And um, we'll talk again soon when we, uh, when we record another one of these videos. Okay. Thanks so much. And if you need to get a hold of us right behind me, fountaineadcc.com. If you want to learn more about the Paycheck Protection Program loans, go to fountaineadcc.com backslash PPP. All right. God bless. Bye.